If you've watched the video what it takes to be a Shenyun dancer before, then you have a good idea of how tough our training is. It takes a lot of dedication and hard work for us to hone our skills in classical Chinese dance. But everything has to be balanced. And we want to start a new video series, vlogging and showing you what we do when we're not training. Hello, we're performers from Shenyun Performing Arts and my name is William Lee. I'm Sam Poo. And my name is Jisung Kim. And also, we have our friend Jason Ju in the back as well. Yeah, hey guys, Jason, get in the shot. We're on break! Yeah! So come join us for our break. And uh, to start the day off, we've already got some. I got a oolong milk tea with pudding. Coffee milk tea? No. I'm drinking water because I'm losing weight. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's no one cares? Yeah, no one cares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's yeah, gonna yeah, appreciate yeah. that? Appreciate that, but not on break day. Wait, all right, let me introduce, because Double's driving, I'm taking the wheel now of this video. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go eat Korean barbecue. The place we're going to today is called Gamjatang. No, it's not Gamjatang. Oh, no, that's so oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I knew that, yeah. The struggle that. is real, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> I knew where we're going, I'm always knowledgeable. And this is really funny, we put this in there. Don't put this in. I don't know much about this place, but I know I like meat, so that's all I need to know. Right, guys? <laughs> 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 dot, dot, dot. Guys! Somebody save it! Support me! Somebody! <laughs> Someone say I'm good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, clap for sample. So what's up, guys? Right now, we're on the road. We're going to a gum... Uh, what is it again? Obaltan. Obaltan. Okay. Remember, it's yeah, yeah, Obaltan. Yeah, I, I knew that. Oh, it's called Uja Tan. Obaltan. 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 Tan. Tan. Can you pronounce it, Sam? Yeah, Obaltan. Obaltan. All right, so we made it to the restaurant. Yeah. We started the meal with steamed eggs and soybean paste soup. Then we got some Korean rice cakes and mozzarella and sweet corn. Mozzarella cheese. But this restaurant specializes in seafood and we got the clam combo. The clam was really fresh. And there's a lot of juices that come out when it's cooked and you gotta drink that first before eating it. Jisung is not a fan of seafood, and he didn't like the clams. <laughs> he still doesn't like clams. I'm going to go my own But he did enjoy the scallops. Good? This is really good. This is good. This is the combo also came with shrimps, which were really good. I thought we overcooked it, but it was still really juicy, and the meat was almost bouncy. I'm just eating this big because like, it's charred, so it's like kind of crunchy now. But the inside meat is still really springy. Like You feel the bounciness of the meat still. Yeah. We also had a soup which had all the clam juices in it. It's basically a flavor bomb. It's really it's strong too strong, too yeah. strong for me. <laughs> of course, at a Korean barbecue restaurant, we had to get some meat. We ate the meat with the scallion sauce, and it was delicious. Oh, I didn't eat Korean barbecue for so long. It was okay. so good, actually. They also had a soy sauce wasabi mix, and it was delicious with the meat. Look at Kim's dumb smile, he can't help but laugh. Of course, I had to go for the perfect bite with meat, corn, cheese, and rice cake. And to finish the meal, we got kimchi fried rice surrounded by fried egg. It was really flavorful, but not too heavy. It was the perfect way to end the meal. Mm, That's right. Hello everyone, it's hey. like <laughs> Alright, so we just finished eating at Obaotan. Yeah. And it was actually really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. What do you guys think? What's your review? I don't know. I like the oysters or clams. It was the best. clams. The clams. The clams are the best. For me, I'd really like the clams. And the meat quality was also really, really good. And I think the price was pretty good too. Kim? Sure. I really like meat, but. The scallops. 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 You like the fried rice the best? <laughs> fried rice and the beef. Dude. He enjoys fried rice, he likes the carbs. Uh. Yeah, man. He's, he's easy to handle, you know. We'll just <laughs> feed him rice from now on. Yeah, all the ingredients were really, really good quality, and I think that's one of the like, selling points for this restaurant. Highlights. Very good quality, yeah. Let's go to dessert. Okay, oh, dessert yes. time. Dessert! We're gonna get dessert now. Dessert. Time for the real oh, deal. Yeah, this is so distracting, my little cat's here. Three, Yay. two, one, go, dessert, let's go. Oh. Next, we headed to Kudo Society. One of my favorite places for dessert. And I got a latte, some coffee. To start off, we got the kudo san, a rice cake waffle. We also got the mango cheesecake bingsu, Korean shaved ice. Yeah, the texture is really good. It's like a mochi. It's like kind of chewy, and it's crisp on the outside too. It has some like almonds on it. 
This bean soup is really good. It has real mango chunks and also like cheesecake chunks in here. So what's the difference between this ice and normal bean soup? So this is like the snowflake kind, right? It's not like crunchy ice, but it's more like a soft powder. So it feels like kind of like snow. It's like a sweet, but not too sweet, but very creamy and soft. Rice cake, mango, cheesecake. And we finished our dessert, and thank you Kudo Society, we'll be back again. Next, we headed to the Korean supermarket, H-Mart, to do some shopping. I was looking for a new wok, and I found a pretty good one. Next time I'll take you cooking. Jisung was looking for snacks, and we can do another episode where we introduce you to all kinds of Korean snacks. There's just too much variety, and if you ask Jisung, he would say everything is good. And they also had Kobe beef. One day I'll buy some and we can make some for a future episode. Look at the marbling on the meat. Jisung got some help picking out a good watermelon. And I also got complimented on the wok that I picked. I also recommend these Korean almonds. They have a bunch of flavors and they're all really interesting. That one looks a bit too exotic for me. <laughs> Yo, this guy's enjoying it. Is that the shooting star thing? Other than snacks, they also have a huge selection of different drinks from Asia. Some of our recommendations are this Korean pear drink, Milkis, and my personal favorite, Pokari Sweat. It's like a Japanese version of Gatorade. There's way too much variety. Maybe next time, we'll make a video reviewing these drinks. So leave a comment if you want to see that. And then, we got some Korean fried chicken, because we had to. I know we just ate, so we're not gonna eat it now. Well, maybe just a few french fries? And a few wings. Nice. So we just finished shopping at H Mart and now we're at Woodbury. Premium outlets and we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping. Let's go. So, this is one of the largest outlet centers in the world with over 250 stores, ranging from designer retail brands to high-end fashion. It's so popular that there are buses from New York City that specifically come to this outlet. And there's around 13 million visitors annually. After shopping, we went to Kintan Ramen for dinner. Got some dessert, loaded up the car, then finally headed home. Thanks for watching to the end of our first vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video if you enjoyed it. There's going to be more to come. See you next time!